Hey, this is Chris from Game Dev Project, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your own vehicle with the SimCade asset from AshDev, available on the Unity Asset Store. The link is in the description. So I've got the asset installed, and I've also installed the Polygon City Pack by Cinti Studios, as we'll be using the demo scene and the vehicles. So the first thing we'll want to do is head to Window, Package Manager, and change packages to Unity Registry, and we'll search for Cinemachine, and we'll just make sure that's installed. Then we'll next we'll find the vehicle we want to use, and we'll unpack the prefab. And then we'll go through the vehicle and remove any colliders or any rigid bodies that are attached to the vehicle. So we have a variety of presets that we need to set up. You can see where they're located here. So if we had to edit project settings, the first one will be the input manager. If we click this icon here, we can load the preset. Same with the physics, load the preset in. And then if we click time, we also have a preset for that. Now back to our vehicle that we want to set up. Select our vehicle, we head to Tools, SimCade Vehicle Physics, and for our vehicle preset, if we head into the Prefabs folder, Car Presets, find the vehicle that's most suited to what we're trying to set up. In this case, we'll go to the sedan, we'll drag that into the preset, and for the rest of the vehicle, this main game object here that has the body, we'll drag that in, then the wheels, front left, front right, rear left, rear right, and we'll drag the body in, as well as one of the wheels, and create the vehicle. And we can close this one, then we'll delete the camera. I'll show you how to set that up. If we head to Game Object, Camera, and then on the camera, we want a Cinemachine brain. Now when we hit play, you can see the vehicle's all set up. Now we'll take a look at all the configuration we can do to the asset. We'll do it in play mode, just so we can see what everything does. Obviously everything we change now won't save while we're in play mode. And before we cover off too much of this, in the Ash Assets folder, SimCade, documentation you can see there's a pdf in there and if we take a look it goes through all of the settings available for the vehicle so it's always worth having a read of that so if we open up the vehicle start off with the car speed if we slow this down we'll say 40 and the acceleration we'll slow that down a little bit and you can fine tune this a little bit further with the acceleration curve so if we bring this down see our car accelerates a lot slower so it really depends on what kind of game you're trying to make then we'll look at the max turn angle if we really crank this up see we got a much larger turn circle on our vehicle and having a lower number obviously has the opposite effect you want a car that's much harder to turn. We'll leave this at 30 for now. Then next we'll take a look at the brake acceleration. So if we drive and press space for the handbrake, you can see how fast we slow down. So if we turn this down to something like 10, can see it's much slower to slow your car down. And the next setting we'll look at is the friction of the vehicle. So this is currently set to 1 and it will control how much friction your tyres have. So if we turn this down to say 0.2, see it's much harder to control your car. And then you have the side and the forward friction, which you can play around with a little bit just to tweak the feel of your car. But we'll move on to a few other settings. Let me go down and look for the shifting gears sound effect. If we drive around, you can hear that's a little bit loud. So we have the ability here to just turn that down. If we turn that down to say about half volume. That's a bit more subtle. And then still on the topic of sound effects, if we look under the SimCade vehicle controller, where we see the wheel skid, if we click on that, open this one up, we can also turn this right down. Just so the more dominant sound is the actual car. Then back onto our car, if we head down to the audio system, you can see here we have a min pitch and a max pitch. So if we just halve this, see we can control the sound of our vehicle. We want it to be a little bit deeper or a little bit higher pitch. And if we look at the gear system for our vehicle, you can see we have the total gears available 
as well as the speeds where it will change gears. So we can lower these down. And now if we drive around, you can see it's a bit better suited to this vehicle. So now we'll tweak the camera a little bit to give us a bit of a top-down view. So if we open up our vehicle, here we have the Cinemachine virtual camera. And under body, we can make some tweaks here. So the follow offset, if we set the Y to 10, that'll give us a bit more of a bird's eye view. And if we want to look a bit further ahead, we can change the Z to say minus 8. And you can see that it gives us a bit more of a 3D view. And when we go into reverse, the camera will spin back around to face the opposite direction. Then with the damping, if we turn this up a little bit, you'll see it'll just slow down the movement of the camera to give it more of a chase camera kind of feel. So if we were to stop here, you'll see the camera will catch up. And if we were to take off and turn, it just takes a little bit longer for the camera to turn and follow us. So again, it just depends on what kind of game you're trying to make. But in this case, we'll just turn those back down to zero. Then if we move on to the aim options, you can see we have our little crosshair here with a little dot in the middle. This dot is where the camera will always try to focus on. So we can move this around. If we look at our tracked object offset, we can pan this around wherever we want, and that's where the camera will always try to focus. So if we're to drive, you can see our vehicle is quite offset now. And the other thing that can be quite useful is the horizontal damping and the vertical damping. So if you're trying to make a bit of a top-down racing style game and you don't want the camera to be flicking around constantly, if we turn this up a little bit, set them both to roughly 2.2. Then you'll see if we go to drive, the little point of focus here for the camera will tend to veer off a bit further before the camera catches up. So that's it for this asset. Hopefully you found the video useful. If there is anything else that you want to see, then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.